Brian Knight said it was instinct that saved him and his daughter when they were almost carjacked at this daycare facility. He's like, sorry, bro, like, sorry, I'm about to take your car. And then he right away, like, hops to, opens it and tries to close it. Brian Knight says it was an ordinary day picking up his daughter from daycare, putting her in the car seat to go home for the day. And I was like, my kid's in the car. Until a man who police say is Jacob Yakabuchi tried stealing Knight's car with his daughter still in the car seat. So I put my arm in it like this, throw it open, and then I go in, I hit him and pull him out. Knight says right, he punched right him there. in the ear I before he was able to pull him out of the car. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then he starts running this way. He he ran a couple blocks to a nearby apartment complex where officers arrested him, but before he was put in cuffs. The property manager says the suspect ran through this alley, then jumped the cement wall here and got into someone's unit through their sliding glass door. Court records say he stole a woman's prescription pills. All of this started here at Beeline Automotive. Surveillance video shows a man drinking water in the office. Then he grabs keys off the wall and runs. You can see mechanics chase after him. I knew by the way he looked, he's not a customer. He doesn't look like he'd be a paying customer anywhere. Yagabuchi is being held on a $10,000 bond and the DA's office has 10 days to formally charge him or he'll be released. Reporting in Albuquerque, Justin Matthews, KYT, Action 7 News.